Greetings fellow tank commanders. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you a game that I played in the IS-6 Black. This is a tier 8 Soviet premium heavy tank with preferential matchmaking to only see up to tier 9 tanks. This is one of 7 Black Edition tanks which are available as part of World of Tanks consoles Black Friday specials for 2016. This was only my third game using the IS-6 Black, but I want to share with you my first impressions of the tank so that you still have time to take advantage of the Black Friday specials. Please note that this is just a first impression and is not my review of the IS-6. The IS-6 Black is exactly the same as the regular IS-6 Premium Tank, except that it has a 75% XP earning bonus. This is a lot, especially considering that the regular IS-6 only has a 10% XP earning bonus. This makes the IS-6 Black a much better tank to have if you're looking to train crews to complete XP-based operations which can sometimes lead to things like free days of premium and even a free tank. You can also get a ridiculous amount of convertible XP, which is useful for those of you who want to speed up their progress going down a, a tank line. My first impression of the IS-6 is that it is an awesome tank. I especially think this is a great tank to look for if you are a new player looking to try out an IS type game style. The other option you would consider is the tier 8 Chinese premium heavy tank, the 112. I have found the IS-6's armor to be much more reliable than the 112, especially when making assault moves, which is what you'll primarily be wanting to do with a tank like the IS-6. The other main difference that I noticed from the 112 is that the IS-6 uses APCR shells for premium ammunition. APCR shells do not suffer the same consequences for shooting at angled armor like the 112's heat rounds do. This will make it easier for less experienced players to use premium ammunition since the 112's heat rounds rely on penetrating flat armor, which if you're looking to play the game style of the IS quite aggressively, you'll notice that you don't get a whole lot of opportunities to stop and aim specifically at a flat part of the enemy tank. And then you have to of course remember that even flat armor being angled is a huge problem. So when the 112 is shooting at the E-75's bottom plate on flat ground, it still has trouble penetrating it. So overall I would say that the IS-6 is a lot easier of a tank to use if you want an introduction to the IS game style before going down either the IS-4 or IS-7 tank. Now the question you're probably asking, is the IS-6 Black worth getting over the regular IS-6? Yes it is. The only problem is that the IS-6 Black Edition is more expensive than the regular IS-6 if you buy it individually from the Black Friday specials. If you buy the IS-6 Black Edition individually, you pay 450 more gold than the non-Black Edition IS-6. Even with this price, I think the IS-6 Black is a smart tank to get. But remember, if you buy one of the larger tank bundles, you do actually save a decent amount on all the tanks. So make sure to have a look at these before buying. The IS-6 is a great crew training tank, but if you can have six cents and repairs on your crew before you start, it'll make the gameplay a lot more enjoyable. The crew I'm using for this game is from my IS-7. This crew has almost 13 crew skills and perks, and so far has been gaining about 1% of a crew skill for every battle. This might not seem like a lot, but when you get a crew that's this experienced, it takes longer and longer for it to actually gain crew skills and perks. So 1% for every game, whether it's a victory or a loss, is actually really good for this crew. I decided to test the IS-6 Black with a brand new crew, and earned 4% of a crew skill in an average win. I have equipped my IS-6 Black with a tank gun rammer, an enhanced gun laying drive, and a vertical stabilizer. All of this equipment is based around enhancing the gun's performance, which because of its large caliber is quite sluggish to use. With this equipment, along with the snapshot and smooth ride crew skills, I have no complaints about the gun's performance now. You could consider getting coated optics instead of an enhanced gun laying drive to make your equipment loadout a little more well-rounded. 
but overall I recommend trying to stick with this equipment loadout. I have supplied my IS-6 Black with a large repair kit, a large first aid kit, and an automatic fire extinguisher. These are quite expensive to use, but with the IS-6's great earning potential, it has a 50% silver earning bonus, and can easily afford these kits. But if you want to make a little more silver from your games, then you can switch out for the small repair kit, small first aid kit, and a manual fire extinguisher. I'm planning on trying out the extra combat rations instead of the automatic fire extinguisher, but I haven't yet. At the moment, my ammunition loadout is 16 AP rounds, 12 APCR rounds, and 2 HE rounds. Since the IS-6 can only hold 30 shells, you need to be quite selective about your ammunition loadout. Most of the time, the IS-6 is fighting at close quarters, which means that it'll benefit from a large supply of APCR shells. If you want to enhance your game performance, you can run almost exclusively at APCR shells, this will end up being quite expensive though, but with the sluggish nature of the IS-6's gun, you won't always be able to hit the weak spots on enemy tanks, and so the APCR rounds will give you a little more forgiveness with that. Overall, the IS-6 is an extremely fun tank to use, with a lot of potential. And if you can pick it up in its black edition, you will surely be impressed by its XP earning potential. Now we're coming up to the end of the game here, and you've been able to see the IS-6's gun perform up close and at a distance. You've seen its potential to bounce shots, lead assault moves, and when opportunities present themselves at long range, it can prove to be a decent sniper, although I definitely don't recommend making a habit of this. Well that's all for this game, now let's check the post-game stats and see how well I did in under 7 minutes. Wow, look at that. I earned 131,000 silver and 5,697 experience without any multipliers. In this game, I was able to destroy 6 enemy tanks, deal 4,794 damage, assist with 1,555 damage, and I blocked 2,705 damage. This earned me high caliber, steel wall, top gun, and mastery badge ace tanker. I placed at the top of my team, earning a base XP of 2,234. I managed to hit 20 of my 23 shots and get 15 damage hits from those. I am happy with these stats, especially considering I was making some distant shots near the end of the game. Unfortunately, I didn't do any dramatic module or crew damage to the enemy tanks. I damaged the fuel tank on the Motherland and T-29 and the engine on the J Panther. Well that's all for this game. I hope I was able to give you some insight into the game style of the IS-6. I hope to see you all on the battlefield in your IS-6 blacks, earning some great XP. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.